Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica and I make videos revolving around my art practice. Um, today I filmed my second sketchbook tour um, and this sketchbook was completed during 2016 to 2019. Hope you enjoy! Uh, today we've got this nice background of a piece of art that I made because my table's too small. <laughs> Um, so let's go. Uh, this sketchbook was completed um, during university, uh, I think starting in 2016, and it was mostly for project ideas, so there's not as much actual visual pieces in here. Uh, yeah, so started September 2016, completed September 3rd, 2019. Okay, so these were some notes from a class. Ooh, this was a fun project. Um, we had to create um, ourselves, but kind of in like a monster form. Um, so, I mean, this wasn't the final piece. I think the, the ears were not there, or the, the fins, um, but if I can find a photo of it, I will insert it over here. Another project for that class um, where I took a iris and we had to add I think three life forms into um, basically a non-existent space or area. Uh, if I find that I'll also put a picture of it here. <laughs> Just some more notes from class. Another project. Ooh, I really like this project. Um, I will insert a picture here because it is really cool. We had to basically cut an item in half and inside would be something you wouldn't regularly find. That was a fun project. Uh, logo idea for class. Another logo idea for class. We had to use automatic or semi-automatic um, ways of creating a piece of art. Um, so for instance, a pen or marker hanging from a string um, from like the ceiling and then you move it and as it goes past it, it creates a bunch of marks, um, but they're all kind of random, I guess. You can't really control what the uh, automated Thing does. Um, that was kind of cute, just a little tester page. So this is when I worked at the um, Commerce Undergraduate Society, CUS for Haskane. Uh, just trying to draw out some print materials for them or some ideas. Uh, tattoo design. I taped this in here. Um, I, it actually originated from in here and then I took it out, but I, I taped it back in. <laughs> uh, stencil for the flowers. I started that one, never ended up finishing it, but it was kind of the same idea or concept. Another project. I can't remember what I did for this one, but I don't think it had anything to do with crystals. Oh, this was my first silkscreen class. So I ended up, the, the picture of the iris, I ended up making that into a, a screen print, um, which I will insert another picture of it here. Um, grayscale cup uh, paintings. I might have a photo of this, I might not. Um, whatever photos I do have, I will uh, kind of insert here so that you can kind of see the final project. Started drawing a face, clearly never finished that one. This was our second um, screen print project. Another poster idea. 
Mm, I did uh, some Russian nesting dolls for this screen project. Ooh, how to how to build a back of your um, canvas. Ooh, I like this one. This one is a, a lion. Uh, I'll insert here. This was a fun project. I like the layers. More CUS sketches. I think this was probably one of my favorite projects ever. Um, I made. We had to. We had to use transparency and then a bunch of different colors. Um, and so I created a, a mermaid kind of lurking out of the out of the ocean. Uh, it's actually really awesome. I really like that one. Uh, here are all the layers that I used to make the the stencils and some color swatches. And that was the girl's face that I based it on. And there's a little sketch of how I kind of wanted it to turn out. Oh, and I was trying to decide what to call it. Um, and I asked some of my friends. Uh, Midnight Swim ended up being the title. <laughs> Ooh, fun times. That was... <laughs> that was when he got voted into office. That's that's fun. These were cutouts from a newspaper. I'm not sure who actually originally drew them, but I I put tape over, over them because I was gonna draw like I don't know something, and then I just never did. Probably because I was so upset that Trump won. Uh, logo stuff. Another little crayon or how to build a canvas back. More um, CUS stuff. Another silkscreen project. <laughs> this one actually was based off um, uh, the old, um, the shell painting drawing, uh, like when you cut it in half from what I just explained. <laughs> More CUS poster stuff, and more different projects. Another CUS project, and another to make like a logo, I think that was for. Paint Night poster, logo for a different company, uh, different poster drawings. Logos, trying to figure out what to do with that. More logo stuff. Oh, I remember painting this and I don't know, you can't really see. It's supposed to be like um, the rotations of planets around the sun. So like each of the shells are would be like different planets and then here, you can't really see it, but there's like a Milky Way kinda. It was a cool idea, but you can't really see it against the map. So I decided to just tape it in here for memories. More CUS stuff. Ooh, and then I'm <laughs> trying to do like layouts for uh, the uh, house that I lived in for my bedroom. I don't think I have photos of this project. I painted over these ones in the end, but they're kind of cool. <laughs> Another like layout. I think I have lots of room layouts in here. Ooh, this was a fun one. I. <laughs> I found a longboard in the uh, garbage room in the res building that I lived in um, that had three wheels on it. So I, I took the wheels off and sanded everything down and then I repainted it. Uh, kind of, I think I changed this part, but it kind of looks like that. I'll put an image in. That was fun though. That's when I did Liz Simon stuff. I think this was when I was applying to it and they got me to do a project, yeah. Different class, more notes. I think the next few pages are just notes from that class. Yeah. Oh, and then we had to design um, kind of a layout for our project, so. More layouts of rooms. There's the drawing for that, the solar system one I was talking about. Yeah. 
cool. Oh, and then this, after CUS, um, I did some marketing for Prisma, uh, a new marketing club. So this was some stuff for them. Ooh, and then I got accepted into the Utility Box Mentorship Program through the uh, City of Calgary. That was fun, I got a paint. Um, a utility box, I'll put a photo here. But this is, I was figuring out kinda what I was gonna do, writing down some stuff. I think this was kind of like what the original idea was. It shifted a little bit, but the background was supposed to be sunset and then kind of like a shadow of rooftops. And then I did some white flowers over top, kinda like that, I guess. So those were the houses I went around and looked at. This is just a list of shows that I wanted to uh, submit to with like deadlines and stuff. Oh, and then the utility box. These are all the paints and then I tested out kind of the colors and how to like blend them properly. Oh, and then these are some drawings of the flowers that I did. These are cool. I like these ones. Inktober in 2018, wow, a long time ago. I think I was just making a list of things that I could draw. Because um, Inktober, I drew all those in a different sketchbook. Mm, and then my Luna series, trying to figure out what to call them all. <laughs> I listed all, a bunch of um, moons of other planets in our solar system is trying to go through and pick out some names. Logo stuff. Some more notes from class. <laughs> and then I redid my balcony and this I guess was the layout. I think it turned out actually pretty much exactly like this but I made these all like they're all taped down so you could move them if need be. Stencil I used for a different project. Put a photo up here. Um, another room layout, which I think, yep, yeah, it's pretty much like this right now. Yeah, that's it. It's the end. Thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see another sketchbook tour in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.